Hey, buddy. You want to say that we had arguments? How many arguments have we had? How many times have you argued over shit with me? How many times? Well, I already like this. Like, what's the point? Are you going to tell me how many times we had arguments? Because you said that you placed complaints. We had arguments over a bunch of stuff. Apparently, I use your things. I use your things, right? Stop making up stuff, okay? Like, Are you going to tell on honestly, camera that honestly, I use your things? Just say, I, you, you use my things all the time. I am angry. I want you to leave. Say it. Isn't that the truth? Exactly. It's not. Why are you like this? Like what? We never spoken before. This was the first time I ever actually said anything to him directly. He can't even say anything to the camera. No courage whatsoever. Why are you like this? Is the only thing he can say. Like what exactly? Coming here and asking you things and you don't have the balls to actually say it. That you don't like me. That you have been to my room. That you scratched my little thing. My grill. And I'm confrontational. I'm angry. I'm very scary. I've been... Very abusive and racist. Yet, on the camera, he won't say anything. Only on paper. I don't understand. If I've been doing all of these things, why aren't you using your cell phone and making a video? It's a lot more credible, isn't it? I don't understand it. I think he's lying. What do you think? Asking what? Doing harassing six in the morning. So you're going to say that I harass you? Well, you're coming up to me when I'm in the bathroom, in my own privacy, that's harassing me. So I am harassing you for the first time today. Did that ever happen before? Don't Did we me. ever have a conversation before? I don't care. Don't harass me. So we never have a conversation before. This is the first time we're talking. See, I knew that I had to go get my phone. Mm, after your job. Well, I need a conversation to happen before because I'm dealing with this landlord tenancy board issue and you place a bunch of complaints. I can't do anything about it and I have to go to work. No problem. Alright, have a good day. What time is it? 6.49 We can talk when I come back from work. You know what I mean? He needs the entire day to prepare so he knows what to say by the time he comes back. Mm-hmm. Oh, you smell like weed in here. Uh, I have no a idea. A strong cigarette uh, and weed smell. For right, I life. don't think so. It is. I smell it right now. Don't smoke inside. Uh-huh. There's another list of complaints from whatever thing he made up again. He started with the drill again. All right, I am already, I had enough time to consider my options, got to see his evidence, got to notice that everybody's working with him. He has been approached by people who has been following me already. I don't want to get too specific because whatever. What I want to really say here is that remember everyone, my name is Satan. Uh, I really expect you to be very uh, honest. So if you get approached, I'm going to be looking for a place very shortly. After this hearing, I will know exactly how long I'm going to have because my lawyer was really not working on my side. Uh, she was actually just fishing for information to feed it to my landlord. Therefore, since I already know that, I knew that I don't, I cannot really trust her. She gave me terrible advice and 
didn't submit my evidence on time, so I don't even know if they can actually use the evidence that I submitted yet. All I really know at this point is that I'm gonna have to move. I already knew, I just didn't know how long I would have. Now that I have an idea, I think it's about between about a month from now. I will be looking for another place. I honestly do not do this as looking for a place to start fights with anyone. I am not looking to try to figure out what it is that you have been doing with your life so I can punish you. I actually do not care about that. I would love for you, if you get approached, when you get approached, to be honest and let them know that you have no interest whatsoever into getting into their plans and doing anything to me and be sure you will be protected by me. If I can protect myself, I obviously can protect you. Don't cause anything in my life. And you see yours blossom. Believe me, I have the capability to make your life a living hell. Yes, I also have the capability to make your life a dream. Come true. Just for the very fact that you decided to side with me and not make my life any harder. Because you already seen there's always the same people. It's always the same people. They're always getting paid to do something. They're always a little nervous about doing it. But they kind of try it anyways, but not really hard. They always feel like I have to provoke them first. And I always really do have to really force that interaction to happen for it to happen. Therefore, I may have looked a little bit like a lunatic sometimes because I really do have to be very proactive for them to even actually try anything. Like, I have to give them permission. So if that is something that really needs to happen in order for them to even interact with me in a negative way, so you should understand that you would not really have a chance to do the exact same thing unless I allow you. So please, be smart and don't start shit with me. I'll be looking for a place. I don't know what I'm going to be finding. I don't even know how it's going to be. I'm not going to tell you that I'm nervous because I'm not. I'm not going to tell you that I'm scared because I'm not. All I am is knowing that this is what I made myself do. I will appreciate it if you are smart and we do not have to continue these videos about you as well. You know, about you being in my, in my face for no reason. So, thank you for not being in my face if you decide not to. I will not sure how I'm going to pick the next person I will go live with. And we will see what happens. The number 416-645-8080 doesn't work. So let's try the other one. 888-332-3234. Eight, 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 three, three, two. Three, two, three, four. I'm trying to call the Tennessee board. Yeah, none of the numbers work. So instead, I guess it's about emailing them. I don't know if you can hear the music, but it's loud. It sounds like some nigger that got his heart broken and some shit like that. It doesn't sound very happy. Definitely not like the kind of song that I listen to, but... Bro, why don't you listen to happier music? Maybe that's the reason why you're so angry. All this noise from construction, all those drills, brrr, you know what I mean? Constantly all day. And then when you get home, this is what you listen to? How are you supposed to be happy like ever? Why do you have to live your life trying to bother me? It doesn't bother me. Even if your music is shitty. Because I can always put on earphones, listen to my own music. I just don't feel like it. See what I mean? This doesn't bother me. I feel sorry for him. I was actually curious to know what it is that he's been listening to lately. 
Because I know, I know he knows what I've been listening to since he really follows my shit, like, beautifully. It's rock and roll. It sounds pretty angry. I hear you, bro. I know you're angry. I know you're sad. I know there's many things going on in your life right now that I clearly don't really know. And I could say I know your pain. I feel it. I understand it. But I couldn't care less. Good luck with that. I like this. You cannot decide upstairs whether he wants to use the drill or listen to music. I don't understand how you cannot do both. I advise you to do both. He turned it louder. The lady said that she couldn't hear it on the phone. I'm going to listen to this video later. I am positive that you can hear it. <laughs> 